Okay, now let's get the HTML skeleton on. I'll get rid of this page one word, and I'm going to start typing the first tag that belongs on every HTML document. It's the doc type tag. If I type my left angle bracket and an exclamation point, I'll have a code hint that I can click on and it will finish typing my tag for me. I always advise that you click on the code hints and let the software finish your tag just to avoid spelling mistakes. If I look at our slideshow, let's see, where is it? Right there. And go to our HTML skeleton, I'll see that these are the five tags I need to get onto our document. So we'll do that and we'll put them in the right order. We'll begin with the HTML tag. And remember, like a sandwich, we put one at the top and one at the bottom. I always say, shut the door. So next we have the head tags. I'll shut the door here. And between those, we have the title tags. And here we've got it started. While I just typed the title tag, I will copy the headline of my page Control or Command C and paste it here. Next will be the body tags. Now remember, the body tags will contain everything that you want to be on your website. And it has a start tag and an end tag. So this is what's going to be seen by my website viewers. And so it is between the body tags. This, the title tag, will be up in the, let's see if I have a browser up here, up here, if I didn't have so many tabs open, you'd probably see some words, but uh, you don't see any words because I have so many tabs open. But if you could see words, the words that you could see would be the ones that are put into the title tag. All right, let's put these same tags on the next page. Do a save, control S, and over here to five topics again. Then my HTML tags, one at the top, one way down here at the bottom. My head tags are next. And my title tags. And then of course, I'll copy this title too and put it here. And last will be my body tags. And again, we want the body tags to hold all of the information that we want to put on our website. That's a lot in this case. The body tag goes above the closing HTML tag. All right, there is my HTML skeleton. There's one more thing that I need to add to my skeleton, and that is the attributes. Let's take a look at the attributes that I'm talking about. It's at the end of the slideshow. You should be able to refer to your notes. And what you should know about an attribute is that it is part of an HTML start tag, and that it has this format, name equals value. The two attributes you learned about in the slideshow are the HTML tag attribute, language equals en, and a meta tag attribute. So let's get those two tags in here. I will give my lang equals, once you type an equal sign on Visual Studio Code, it gives you these quote marks and puts your cursor between them. So that's helpful, right? And then the meta tag goes below the head tag. Meta space. Char set, that means character set, equals, and it's UTF-8. That's just talking about the keys on the keyboard. Just to let the browser know what we're typing. Let's get those on the, do a save, get those on the next page. HTML lang equals en and meta. All 
All right, I'm going to do a save. Oops, I have to close this tag. I'm going to do a save, and we are set for the next video.